Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's Let's Chat, I wanted to talk about the topic of grumpiness versus valid criticism. So something came up that I saw online, of course, right? That it's usually what happens, right? You see something on Facebook or Consum World or Board Game Geek, gets you thinking. Well, I want to make a video about it because I kind of want to see what other people think. Um, and maybe it'll be less about the specific example and more of kind of in general thinking of feedback, criticism. When is it valid? Is it ever valid? Uh, sometimes people being grumpy that we know that happens, but is it always? And is that a good excuse? Is that a good way to kind of uh, ignore people? And that's where I'm kind of having a, a couple questions here. So uh, let's go ahead and start looking at some stuff here. Um, so you guys know what the heck I'm talking about. Let me pull up the uh, screen here. So what I'm talking about is the new Assault on Tobruk game from Compass Games, specifically published in Paper Wars, issue number 99. Now, I noticed on Consim World, some, in the Paper Wars folder, someone had posted, and I, I took some screenshots of just me and then the, the publisher, so the, the editor-in-chief of Paper Wars, by the way, is Ty Bomba. And so he's kind of running things over there. Very vocal. Um, if you don't know him, I don't know him personally, but from everything I've seen online, very vocal, not afraid to share his opinions, his thoughts. Also a very prolific game designer. Um, I've played several of his games I've really enjoyed. Um, there's one or two maybe don't enjoy as much, but for someone who designs as many games as he does, I'd say he's a pretty good track record. But he has a lot of content online. Well, what I'm talking about today is that in the Paper Wars, and I, I took some quotes, I don't want to put people's names other than Ty Bamba, I mean, he's public figure, puts his name out there on games, editor, and then myself, because, well, this is my channel. Um, so someone said, with all the graphic art talent and compass, I was incredibly disappointed with the very retro look of the components. I hope you guys can kind of see that up here. Very disappointed with the very retro look of the components. The graphic is incredibly disappointed with the very retro look. The graphic style would fit into the 80s. Again, I was very disappointed with the choice. And then that same person later says, let's, to be clear, the AOT, so Attack on, or uh, Assault on Tobruk, game components have nothing to do with how it plays. It's a great game I'd play regardless. I just expected more from a straight redo if I'm asked to double dip and buy the same game a second time. I really wanted to. So let's kind of look at it. So this is hard to find some good pictures of the original. Pull up my browser here. So we have, where is it? Right, so this is the new one. This is the original. I have some, we'll go through those in a second here. So here's a kind of a shorter comparison. That's what they posted. So they, this is the original up top here. And then, zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it a little better. Um, and then you have the quote unquote remake here. Now it's cleaned up a little, clearly you can see a little fuzzier up top here, a um, little cleaned up, but you know, I have to agree with them saying this is a really a new map release. What, you know, and again, this is subjective, right? Let's be clear. So I'm kind of looking at two things. One, I'm not trying to come down on this game or the map. That's not my point of making this video. What I'm looking at is saying, okay, so my opinion and shared by a couple other people, um, at least, <laughs> is that, uh, you know, I've seen better remakes, right? Redoing a map, redoing a game. This this really doesn't cut it in 2021. So, um, for instance, you have... Ty, they posted that. They posted the comparisons, and then Ty, Ty said, someone is always angry, disappointed with them about the map. Someone is always angry, disappointed about the counters. Always. Then he posted something unrelated, upcoming game. Uh, so I responded to him. I go, you are right. Can't please everyone, Ty. But man, that new, put in quotations, Assault on Tobruk map is not very attractive. Disappointing to see a new version of a game released in 2021 with that map. And you had some more comments from people. Um, I agree with you, Ty. But I must say the difference, and this is someone else besides up here, this is a different poster, but I must say the difference between the original MacArthur map and the newer one is quite striking, and a redo that is on the newer one is absolutely awesome. And that's to do with the re MacArthur map. Uh, I'm not going to go on the thread because I don't want to show names necessarily, um, but this is referring to the MacArthur game where it's an old map that kind of looks like that old style that I just showed you guys, um, but is very you know this old style right but the new one i mean looks amazing and we'll cover that in a little bit um another poster i don't mind the tobruk map i take it it was intended as some sort of homage but it could be better 
Another poster, different person, by the way. Tobruk map, really looks like they phoned that one in. Solid and uniform hexes of color are just bland, um, except we're appropriate. Even then, the overall look can be made more interesting, um, e.g. Galicia, which we'll look at that one. So in responding to him, to Ty saying someone is always disappointed and angry about maps, true, as it is a very subjective issue, but that still doesn't excuse pretty average presentations. Someone else posts and says, in my honest opinion, the new AOT map is not good. Your mileage may vary. So you have you have a bunch of different people. Now, to be clear, there are a couple supporters, but I would say if you look at between the first post and the kind of the last one, there are more people. There are definitely more people. I don't know if it's way more, but there's definitely more people saying they didn't like the map. Now, like I said, we're looking at it here. My thought is, is you're looking at the map there and you have, and by the way, here's where it also gets into it, Ty's responses. So we had that response here that I wrote to you. Ty Bamba says, regarding the Tobruk map, when we first got it done, we posted the file on the Compass Games page on Facebook. Universal reaction was extremely positive. Well, here's the deal. You're posting to your own fan page, and that's, that's fine. You can post stuff to there. But to say universal reaction was extremely positive. Okay. I don't have the quote here, but someone else went and they responded to him here. And I, I didn't screen grab or I didn't grab the quote. But basically, they said, in response to this, they said... Um, you know, they went, went and looked and they said there were two responses and one of them was the designer of the game, which I believe is Steven Newberg. Um, he did, he said he's had a couple of those games from uh, designed a few decades ago that have been repo republished in uh, Paper Wars, by the way. One of them, uh, Hannibal, I covered on my channel. But anyway, um, so he, you know, the designer was one of them saying it looks great, right? And then someone else, I don't know the name and I'm not going to post it. Okay. Ty also then shared, I will share this axiom with you. One generally recognized throughout the wargame industry for the past quarter century or so. If you're looking for grumpy wargamers, you need to look no further than the Consim World BB. So Slams, Consim World BB, um, references grumpy wargamers. Then final one is, and he does post someone's name here. My apologies, Nick. Um, Xander wrote about playing poker. If you can't identify the pats, the person at the table is the patsy. That means you're the pants, patsy. Translating that into the concert world BB experience. If you can't really identify the BB as a place for general grumpiness, that means you're one of the grumps. More generally, the tendency of unedited web pages to become loci of complaint is really no longer a mystery. And then he goes on to some, you know, information on book that has, you know, a point that basically when people get together, they can be grumpy and such. Um, which I'm not saying is invalid. I had another um I had another one. I can't find it. Anyway, um, sorry about that. So two issues here in my mind, by the way. Let's go look and let's go back. So this is the full map, right, of the new one, the new release. Let's look at the past three maps from Paper Wars magazine. So this is the Battle of Alma. Very uniform in color, very green, like greenish yellow. Um, but I think it's an improvement. Perfect. Absolutely not. But I would say an improvement. 97, Battle for Galicia, or Galaxy, sorry, my apologies on the pronunciation. Um, beautiful map, in my opinion. Absolutely fantastic looking map. Again, yes, it's they got some plainness kind of in the in the middle here with the clear terrain here, but the woods, the, just it looks really good. And, you know, having the artwork where it's not hex to hex, where it's like the blocks, so you know what I'm saying? Like, this is all orange. This is all yellow, 100%. Like, basically, you know, when you're, like, paint and you do, like, fill, fill background, that's what they did with all the hexes. Maybe back in 1980, when the game was originally designed and the art was done, that was kind of how they did it. I think that nowadays, that should not be the case. In 2021, that should not be the case. Um, here is uh, Paper Wars 96, Rally Around the Flag. So, again, very good. A little subdued colors. I, I did see a couple complaints on the sub subdued colors here. But, again, I think overall... Any of these are light years ahead of this. Now, and we can look at, let's look at a couple of box games. It's not a direct comparison because we're talking about a magazine game versus a box game, but because the box games, I mean, you look at Kharkov Battles, that'd be, what a beauty. Granada, Last Stand of the Moors, beautiful. Um, the War of Pacific, 1941, 1945, absolutely gorgeous. So, and again, those are box games. So let's maybe not, let's ignore those. Let's stick to the Paper Wars ones. Man, even these, all of them, all three of them, a lot. Just, you can tell these were designed by an artist now right in 2021 this was designed the, the original many decades ago um expect a little more so not a fan of the not a fan of that okay fine could live with it right 
Uh, maybe the topic is good. The game is good itself. You just ignore the map, whatever. Although map is part of the presentation and to ignore that, I think is silly. But the second issue that I have here, and it's kind of tied into Ty's response. I, I don't appreciate that he went out there and said, you know, oh, every war game is grumpy, war gamer. And he is completely dismissive of everyone's opinion. Um, in this case, right? In the trauma, specifically in this case. And I don't appreciate that. I think that as customers, as fans, people do have the right to voice their opinion. And yes, people can have a bad day. I've had bad days. Maybe say something, you're like, ah, I shouldn't have said that. Or that's not how I really feel. But, you know, and I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to tell like it is, right? I do it on my other videos, whether it's a Let's Chat or my reviews. You know, you put a game, a certain game, I'm not going to name names right now, but you put a game in front of me that I don't like, I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to tell you why I don't like it. But I'm going to listen. And I usually post, by the way, I also will say what I do like about something. I never post 100% negative. Every comment of his, of Ty's, was a negative comment towards the people responding, saying, hey, we don't like this map. And I and the overall responses of the people, um, let's go ahead and look at them again, were not terribly negative, right? It was, map is not good. Um, it's a subjective issue, doesn't excuse pretty average presentation, looks like they phoned it in. Uh, could be better, right? Like, oh, how grumpy is this person, right? It could, but it could be better. Oh, what a grumpy person. My point is, I don't think he did a great job with his feedback, right? His responses to people. And I expect a little better from the editor in chief of the magazine. Simple as that. Um, he's running that magazine now. You know, he's a very opinionated designer, very opinionated person, and that's fine. And that's something he brings to the hobby, right? And he's been doing it many years before I even got into the hobby. I'm sure we're doing it many years after, right? After I'm out of it or something. But I, I would expect a little better from him. Um, just like some of these people expect a little better from the map, and I would expect better from the map, by the way, too. But this video is not focusing on the map entirely. It's looking at his reaction and how he's kind of reacting to people. So anyway, I think I've said enough on the topic. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Do you say yeah, it's totally appropriate? You know, Wayne, what are you talking about? Do you think, yeah, maybe he, he could have he could have used a little more kids gloves, a little more of a customer service type voice? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and as usual, if you appreciate the video, certainly appreciate a subscription. You know, have lots of good content. We have videos that games will be covering here. Um, you can see I have what is that? In the name of justice is up here. I'll be covering that one soon. I just did. Uh, Thunder at Dawn, uh, the American Civil War Blind Swords game, did a bunch of videos on that. Well, actually, I think this will go up before the review for that, so the overview and review will go up. Um, and then uh, we'll be diving into some other games and who knows what else. So until next time, guys, later.